Welcome back to the third and final part of the Gothenburg vlogs. We start near a church because I know for certain you're praying that I never upload vlogs again, but unfortunately for you, I insist more than the Avon door-to-door -door salesman. I put it on the on Google Maps and it said, oh, this is a place that you've not been to yet. I was like, all right, sick, let's do it. But as you can see, there's the, uh, the famous towers over the back, always there, always chilling. We are quite far up, to be fair. If you think that that hotel is 33 floors and this is where we are, we must be quite high up, which is why the scooters struggle to actually get up here. It was particularly empty up there because as we discussed in the last vlog, Swedish people are pastafarians and worship their meatballs and the flying spaghetti monster. We started wandering the premises, but even then we didn't find a single soul. It was like the church you enter but never leave, forcing you to sit on those god awful wooden benches for eternity. Sat next to a greasy fat man who keeps pulling steak bakes out of his pocket and using the same part of his sleeve over and over again to wipe his mouth. Sorry, I think I've strayed from the point here. It was a lovely church nonetheless, but it was time to bid it farewell and glide down the hill like a red Bull soapbox race. Botanical gardens. It's like the zoo, if the zoo only had ducks. They're doing like works and stuff, so it's not the most majestic entrance. But they have these big ass fish. Look at that boy. If you haven't seen enough fish in my vlogs, there you go. They are quite friendly, to be fair. And the albino one is the friendliest. Although they were swimming in the slime from the gross magic box set that was kicking around when I was a kid. And the statue that started out as a majestic mermaid but then turned into the hand on from Spy Kids. We're heading to the herb garden, the bamboo thicket and some other thing that I forgot. It's all uphill. How cool is that? That downhill? That's uphill. We're so lucky. Uphill is my favourite kind of hill. I'm just saying, if you're calling it a botanical garden and it's uphill, it's a botanical mountain at that point. How interesting is it? I mean, it's hidden behind a tree, but how interesting is that shit? And indeed it was, for look at the quality of these rocks. The John Deere of rocks, if I do say so myself. We've gone from botanical garden to a dinosaur's enclosure. There is quite literally so many plants around us and everything has a name. There's a Japan area around here somewhere. That's what we're looking for. Japan, Japan tree. She's gonna touch it. She's gonna touch, she touched it. The donut touched the donut. Hey. The things I do for you guys, where else are you going to find a large gaping hole on the internet? There's a serious lack of frogs in this country. I'm just saying, Sweden, phenomenal, phenomenal country, phenomenal city, Gothenburg, but get your shit together, where's the frogs at? We've not reached Japan yet, but we've reached a rock garden. A beautiful rock garden. Nice pond, nice waterfall up there. That's the worker, making sure everything's all good. I'm sure it probably pops off during the spring, but uh, for what it is now, it's, it's still pretty nice. It's still pretty good. Did you know that the oldest use of the word waterfall is by Jay Ambrose in 1805? I thought I'd name drop him because while Thomas Edison was inventing light bulbs and Leonardo da Vinci was inventing helicopters, Ambrose racked his fucking brains to think of the word waterfall. Yes, it does indeed, Principal Perceptive. Wait until he tries to make a name for afternoon. Look at that odd fellow over there. Looks like Grandmother Willow got in a gunfight. Upon further inspection, I realized it's just a trypophobia tree with more holes than JFK. So we've just reached the Japanese garden. <laughs> It's a bit disappointing to say the least. <laughs> I'm not sure if there's more to it, but as it stands, yeah, maybe because it's autumn, I don't know. I'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt and just say that we came at the wrong time of year. A bit disappointing to call it like a Japanese garden. I don't know where she's gone now. She's playing tricks on me. There's also a Korean garden, which I'm uh, just about to go and look at. And I need to go and recover the missus wherever she is. I'm in an open space at the moment and she's not here. Doesn't give me Japanese or Korean vibes. Never been to Korea, to be fair. Never been to Japan. So what would I know? Uh, oh, God. Found her. She's a... Uh, Oh, there she goes. What an athlete. That's okay, take your time. There wasn't much more to the Japan Garden, unfortunately, so it was as disappointing as it seemed. The rest was fabulous though, like, they have so many plants here and each one of them is categorized so it's mental someone's put a lot of effort into it just not into the japan part of the garden <laughs> no hard feelings eh how wholesome and cute is that reminds me of something from uh everybody's gone to the rapture if you don't know what that is you should definitely play it completely irrelevant news just play the game all right This is what they gave us to go swimming. It is, it's comfy. It's gonna feel weird walking through the lobby pretty much in my swimming trunks and this. Uh, we've got two hours, fucking expensive pool, I'm not gonna lie. We've got two hours to spend in like the, the pool, the spa, the area up there, the sauna, all that stuff. But yeah, I might see you down there. I'm not sure what the phone accessibility is like, so 
Cinnabizzle. Probably should have specified it's a spa pool, which means it's shallow and warm. And swimming in it is like a gorilla in a puddle. There's three pools apparently. And then we also have the, uh, the sauna and stuff like that. It was particularly difficult to record down in the spa, seeing as most of the time I was either screaming bloody murder in the sauna, drowning my demons in the pool, or aggressively drinking my mocktail like I'm Stone Cold Steve Austin. But I did manage to get some ice room content, which was by far my favourite part of the spa. It smelled of mint in there and the ice volcano mixed with the sounds of the waves was a nice touch. Spa. Shower. Now, it's pizza time. We are exhausted, but I really want some pizza, so we're gonna go out and find some pizza. This is the part I should probably confess I am the pickiest eater you'll ever meet. So try and the local cuisines and straying from my usual pizza and potato smileys was like asking me to behead a chicken. Okay, so yesterday we went, what did we do last night? We had pizza, we found pizza. Uh, I didn't vlog any of it, I was tired, had a bit of a headache. Today we were gonna do one thing, we're doing another instead and we're doing that other thing tomorrow. But at the moment we're heading to a cafe, just a regular cafe, nothing out of the ordinary. Shout out to one of the greatest restaurant names ever, second only to this. And also quick shout out to this place, which we saw on the bus on the way back to the airport, so we couldn't stop. It was kind of a filler day, and we didn't want to stray too much because I knew that the next day we were probably going to spend a pretty penny. This is the last vlog on Gothenburg, and as I sit here a month later still editing the videos, I still think it was one of those random holiday destinations that paid off. Six days was enough for us to take our time and do things at a steady pace, but realistically you can probably see the entirety of it in a couple of days. <laughs> I don't know what this tram is going through, but it's all gonna be okay, man. You don't wanna end up like this guy, do you? Hard Rock Cafe. Overpriced chips, overpriced drinks, and overpriced fridge magnets. Just because Elton John wore a fur coat for a sweaty five minutes and hung it on their wall. What's that? Prince memorabilia? Couldn't name one song of this. Jokes aside though, I do enjoy going to the Hard Rock Cafe, just to see who is actually hanging on the wall. Usually it's a jacket or a guitar, but I'm sure one day I'll walk in and they'll have Paul McCartney in the flesh, in a cage, wishing he'd never made a collab with Rihanna. There was a surreal moment that felt like something out of a video game. Across the street was a place called Monopoly, but just opposite that was Park Lane, meaning I didn't have long to go to collect 200. Also, always buy the stations. Okay, so we initially wanted to get a tattoo each, but couldn't find a walk-in studio that didn't cost as much as a Komodo dragon. So instead we opted for a piercing instead. As I get a hole put in me like I'm a damn cheese block, I'd say on the pain scale this was a 7 out of 10. It was our final full day in Sweden. You'll have to forgive me for the random cuts to the next day. There was probably just nothing left worth vlogging the day before. Today was an exciting day. No, we weren't about to meet Swedish House Mafia. We were going to the island of Brynum, one of the many islands right here. That one, the big one. Naturally, we had to take a boat. And if you've seen my Shamal Shake vlogs, you know how well I get along with boats. Like a poison frog in a sandwich, usually. We made it to the island, one of the multiple islands. I uh, didn't get seasick, so that's good. I usually get seasick, but this place is absolutely stunning. As it seems, there isn't much down here. Anyway, like it's it's all just a nature reserve, which is fine. As you can see, it just, it just goes on. These lads down here said it's about two miles. We are just kind of wandering. There's a beach around here as well somewhere. Um, and we've got kind of most of the day to kind of chill on the island and explore. So that's probably what we're gonna do. It is a bit of a viewpoint. It's nice. It's like bramble. Is that what you call this? It took me quite literally two minutes for us to get lost because instead of following the big path that everybody else was going down, I decided to go off the beaten road and follow the tiniest little path through the the trees that leads to absolutely nowhere. Okay, it was definitely a terrible idea. We, we've since gone back. <laughs> we've decided, you know, it's our first time on the island. We're not too sure what is down there. 
we found a group of people going down there and we were like, do you know what's down here? And they were like, I ain't got a clue. So we're gonna keep to the main roads and go and see what's, you know, mainstream because we've never been here, like I said, and we kind of want to see what's worth seeing before we leave the island. I'm also panicking Anakin because I don't have many minutes left of recording time. I have 21 minutes and 20 seconds, <laughs> precisely. So I cannot waste a single second. So bye. I'll spare you the audio for this bit because I said something like, oh, it's so peaceful, it's so tranquil, and then let out a large belch, which probably awoke some kind of Swedish yokai, but hey. We've just gone on a hike, essentially. Actually, that's mental. I can see that's that's our city over there. Like, that's where we're staying. That's the big-ass tower that's over there. And it feels like we're a lot further away than that. So that's mental. Wow, this is absolutely stunning. The camera definitely doesn't pick up how good this looks, like, to the naked eye. There's also some kind of animal down there. I'm not sure if it's like a bull. There's a, there's a lot to see, as you can see on the island. I thought it was just like a little island. So you go around, you wander a little bit. Some nice sights, some nice trees. No, look at this, stunning. They were heading over the little bridge, which is apparently another island over there. Will you stop making all that racket while I'm taking a video? This is very Lord of the Rings, if I'm being honest. We're just vlogging for YouTube. It's, uh, it's less dramatic than uh, throwing a ring into a volcano. There's some sheep. Look at them boys, fat fuckers. <laughs> we could go that way, but we're not gonna go that way. We're going around this way, because around this way is a big old circle. There's like a two kilometer trail, let's put it that way. And then it just takes you, wraps you around, puts you in a nice bow, and you, you go back to Brunn. This is the North Sea. Can we touch it though? Yes. Yes, we can. I'm gonna go touch the water, man. Is it as wet as the others? Oh, Tez. What a goddamn pleasant surprise. It's a liquid, man. Guys, the ocean is real. No, the moon landing might be up there for question, but the the, uh, the ocean is real. There's also a massive stone salt rock that you, great description, phenomenal. <laughs> it's, a, it's a salt rock, okay? Luckily, I didn't try to describe the ocean as well, or I would have said something like big blue boat floor. Hello. <laughs> I've never had more mixed reactions than that in my life. It went from, oh my God, cool, some sheep. And then it took like this monumental piss and I was like, oh, sheep. But yeah, that was uh, that was surreal. I thought they'd run away, but they didn't. They, they, they came to us. It was very peaceful. You even bumped into the odd person here and there, which made you stop and wonder if they're also hiking or they're too embarrassed to tell you they've been stuck on the island for the past week and have been feeding on nothing but seashells and an iPhone screen protector. She looks on her map and it looks like the island is actually enormous. So we've got a lot of road left, but there's also a road there that kind of takes us back a little bit. And we're fine with doing the road. It's just, if it's gonna take us a couple hours, we're hungry, <laughs> like we're very hungry. So it puts us in a sticky situation. If it's taking us that way, we're fucked. <laughs> if it's gonna cut around this corner here and head back inwards, then we're fine. I think we're probably about four or five kilometers in now. That road there, there's one that leads all the way down there into bumfuck nowhere. The one that goes inwards goes the long way around. So we're not even halfway through the, uh, the walk, but there's a road kind of like here, where we were before, that just cuts back in. We should be heading slowly back into civilization. It's just stunning, man. Don't sleep on Gothenburg, okay? If you ever get the chance, yes, go to Gothenburg. The city's absolutely lovely. The little islands around here, stunning. Everything about this place is pretty cool, you know? And then for some reason, I immediately squatted and pretended to be a Hawaiian happy face spider. And of course, if you guys have any um, suggestions to throw, in the comments about where we should go next. Even our little local places in the UK that we can visit for like day vlogs and stuff like that. Let me know uh, as I will also tag you guys on the video. So your name will pop up on the video. Lucky you, look at you guys. <laughs> I think we're getting closer. I'm not sure why I sound so frantic. We're literally just walking through wheat and I make it sound like the Battle of Normandy. I was looking in the complete wrong direction before. Um, all the way down there is the bridge that we crossed to get here. In all this, I've forgotten to mention ChatGPT in the last, um, 
while. ChatGPT did recommend that we come here. We'll go over that later on, I think. I'll find some way to include ChatGPT. So we will go over that list later on, but I'm pretty sure that we've actually pretty much smashed everything that ChatGPT told us to do. I can't stress enough that the, uh, the camera doesn't do it justice. There we go more panoramic view there and we're back here with the sheep island complete people there he is behind the bush that guy right there up He's to something going to be. something sketchy that guy's doing there it is the bridge back on our beginning island the only cafe slash restaurant on the island was luckily open, and the hamburger was incredible. I'm so sorry vegans, I'm the pickiest eater. It was a fisherman's village vibe cafe. You can tell it's a fisherman's village vibe by the way it is, and maybe because of the photos of the frickin' fisherman on the wall. The place needed a good paint job, but the coziness level was quite high. Not as cozy as sitting near the fireplace with a mug of hot chocolate and the cat, more like sitting near the fireplace with a mug of hot water and a mole cricket. Look how cute this house is. It's nice and blue. Hey, all the houses here are just like, Cute and cuddly. <laughs> hey, they're all just like really, really fabulous houses. They all look dapper. This is like a bougie place to grow up, you know. So we're heading to a beach. We've seen a beach today, but we haven't seen this beach yet. And you've got to leave no stone unturned. So that's what we're doing. We're just saying it's such a tiny island, right? So I doubt there's any privacy at all in anything you do. Like as soon as you do something, people are going to know. I'm thinking Tinder must be boring as shit, man. <laughs> like, five people on there and if none of them are okay you gotta wait 18 years for another one to come up obviously that's the direction in which we need to go turns out swedish signs are liars there's nothing bad about this beach at all this guy playing with his dog as well even though it says no dogs <laughs> got a dodgy look from him as well probably thought it was like a undercover cop or something to be fair i don't blame him there's literally like one beach on this island and you're not going to take your dog like come on man of course you're taking your dog i don't blame him it's weird because there's like a little pool there um and then it just heads out to the beach. It just looks like a, a massive swimming pool for people, which I assume they jump in during the summer. It's shallow, very shallow. So I don't think you can swim much in it unless you go further out, but there is like a dock there. So I assume there's like a lifeguard during the summer. You can also see that over in the back, there's like a something, a tower. There's something over there either way. Um, we're not visiting that today. There's just not enough time today to do that. We didn't know how much time we actually needed to see all the islands. Like it's taken us this long just to see one full island um, and this one parts of it, not even the full thing. But um, yeah, it was definitely worth the trip. I'm very close now to running out of time to, to record. Uh, I am going to acquire some extra storage on Google Drive so this never happens again. But for it to never happen again, I also need some destinations. Therefore, feel free to throw them in the comments and I'll also try to keep improving the vlog quality. We did a small photo shoot before heading off, but that was more or less everything we had time for. All we needed to do was get back to the boat before it left us abandoned here forever. And as much as abandoned on a Swedish island overnight sounds amazing, we were heading home to the UK the next day and I'm not good with bugs anyway. Okay, I say that do for today. We do need to start heading back to the hotel now because we also need to start packing for tomorrow but yeah that's it now we've got like a 30 minute walk back to the ferry terminal dock thing this little island there's a lot to see lot to do very pretty but wait there's always enough storage for a friendly feline this little guy jumped at the chance to get some attention much like me with my phenomenal thumbnails but mediocre content he then proceeded to follow us and guide us back to the ferry just in case we got lost walking down the only road that actually leads anywhere we went here today I did happen to miss this one. <laughs> I just stumbled across the tiniest library ever, just inside the side of a house. That's pretty cool. That's sick. <laughs> What's this? Another feline friend. Even though there were some kids trying to pick him up like a kettlebell moments before, he was more than happy to say hello. And just like that, back where we started. It was so peaceful, so tranquil. That better not be our ride back. Final half day in Gothenburg. We are packing up now. Last time I get to see 
this view, well, maybe not, curtains against me today. Now we've got like a half day to just spend in Gothenburg, maybe just chill a little bit, overdo it on uh, caffeine, that'd be nice. So realistically, unless I find something interesting today, I think that's the end of the vlogs. Vlog, vlogs, I don't know if this is multiple or one vlog. This store had little figures of all your favorite cats and dogs, such as Labradors, Tabbies, Shepherd Dogs, or Velociraptors. <laughs> And just like that, it was time to go home. No more cathedrals that I can contemplate doing a leap of faith off of. No more pirate ship hotels with confused staff members that don't even know what's happening around them. No more riding sheep into battle on a small remote island where the only enemy is probably a medium-sized rock that may roll down a five meter hill if the wind pulls in the right direction. But most of all, no more e-scooters to the shins that felt like a blade flew off a guillotine and pivoted directly for your legs. That is fucking disgusting. I almost scammed myself at the duty free grabbing some beef jerky, only to find out it's reindeer beef jerky and it costs about 13 pounds for a hundred something grams. Thank you to the legendary lady at the till who pointed that out to me. It was written in a very small print on the back of the packet, but I just assumed it costs as much as regular jerky. Why are you filming me, bro? That's weird. Sorry, I wasn't expecting you back so early. You'll have to, you'll have to forgive me. Let, let me just tidy up a little bit. Done. It was literally Halloween yesterday. That's how long it's taken me to edit this and whatnot. But yeah, just like that, we're back in the old UK of K. The United Kingdom of Kingdom. <laughs> uh, I forgot. Hang on. Hang on. There we go. Just hide everything out of camera shot. That's cleaning. So while we did have a phenomenal time in Sweden, uh, I will admit that the vlog quality does need to improve just a little bit. And by just a little bit, I mean obnoxiously a lot. Which means practice, which means I need to I need to become more confident as well with like talking out in the open with people, things like that. So I'm very prepared to keep doing some vlogs, but that's completely up to you guys. You'll have to let me know in the comments if you want me to keep doing vlogs. And then also definitely let me know where we should go because I am currently back in the UK. I'm more than happy to do like some day vlogs here and there, different places in the UK. I do have a bit of a list going on just from like TikTok destinations. <laughs> but yeah, feel free to spam some in the comments if you do have any. But the real question no one is asking is, did we do everything that AI told us to do? Let's check off the bucket list real quick. Gothenburg Museum of Art, done. Gottesplatzin, done. Haga District, done. The Universium, done. The Garden Society, done. Explore the islands of Stirso or Brenno, did that. Visit the Volvo Museum. Not a massive fan of cars, so wasn't really interested in spending money to see some cars that I can see on the street. <laughs> Slotskogen Park. We did that. That's where we saw the penguins. Liseberg Amusement Park. Unfortunately, that wasn't available until the last day, or we would have actually done it. It was opening up the day that we were leaving, and it was opening at three in the afternoon, and we had to be at the airport at like six or something like that. So it was just like, it's not really worth it. The shopping district, Nordstand, did that. Last minute sightseeing or souvenir shopping. If you count that as a destination, we also did that. We got some souvenirs. We got our license plate thing that we're gonna soon hang on the wall. I'm thinking of maybe starting the wall here and with all the license plates and stuff, at least I can fill up that sodding wall. So realistically, yes, we did about 90% of it. I'm happy with that. I hope you all enjoyed the vlogs. It's been a lot of fun. It's been fun making them and it's been fun editing them as well. And hopefully sometime soon we can get to 6,000 subscribers. Because unfortunately the red platform has been absolutely devouring my channel up at the moment. If you are subscribed, I appreciate it. Please leave a like on the video. If you're not subscribed, please definitely consider doing so. But thank you very much guys for watching. What the hell did I just say? <laughs> and I'll see you in the next one. Take care in a bit.